Welcome to the fourth part of my tutorial series on how to model a lamp. In this part I will show you how I made the cycles materials. So the first thing we do is we go to the shading tab and select the base. Now with that we can take and drag and drop our textures into the material editor. With those here be sure to connect them correctly. So base color to base color, metallic to metallic, roughness to roughness and the height it goes into a vector bump map. Now, you will notice that everything looks weird right now. This is firstly because you have to change it from sRGB to non-color data. Everything that is not directly color should always be non-color data. Then the distance, it's way too high. Blender calculates the bump map distance in meters. Or blender units and in this case it tries to calculate it as one meter deep holes or bumps and this is not really what's happening in there so what we can do is just take this number and divide it by 100 and this will show you some nice little slight bumps here if we now switch to cycles viewport and be sure to disable scene world in the viewport shading you can see this basically in cycles what you will do now is you go shift a input and add a bevel shader and what this does, it basically fakes the normals to be looking like there is a bevel. What you will do is change the radius from something like 0.05, something like 0.025, because the bevel is just way too strong by default. Also increase the samples to 16. Great. Now what we will do is we will select every shader node except for the textures, Control c to copy them, select the cage, select everything there and control V to paste it. That way we don't have to do this bevel part and the bump part again. Now we do the same thing. We will just take the textures and put them in there and then connect them. And this part is done too, just like that. Now let's work on the glowing part of the lamp. So for that, we will select the glass the glass and select this lamp. We will delete the principal BSDF shader and instead we will have an emission shader. Plug that into the surface and now we will also use the converter black body. This black body node it converts temperature measured in Kelvin into color. That way you can get fairly realistic colors of glowing objects. Let's say 4500. And the strength, let's set it to 30. That way it's nice and glow. So, the industrial lamp glass, we can inhale again. And take a look at that. Now, there are multiple ways how you can make this transparent and glow through. There's the video game method, where the alpha is just reduced. And it looks like it's transparent, and it's basically just faking it. But we want a little bit more realistic, so it would increase a transmission. But you can see everything is blurry right now. This is because of the surface roughness being quite high. If we set it to zero, the surface roughness will be smooth and none of that blurriness will be there. If you work with transmission in the principal BSDF shader, you have two types of roughness. There's the surface roughness, where just the surface affected, and the transmission roughness where the internal transmission or glass is being scattered like it's rough. So, what we will do is we'll take the industrial lamp glass opacity and because this is made for the transparency and not for the transmission, if it would connect it to the alpha, everything would work fairly well. But if you would connect that to the transmission, everything is not working at all. This is because in cycles, alpha on one means full opaqueness and alpha on zero means full transparency. And the transmission is basically the reverse of that. So it will connect that to the transmission and use the color invert and just invert that. And now that looks like glass. Now, don't forget to set that to non-color data. So now we'll take the bump map and plug that into a bump node, the height, and connect the normal to the norm. 
you can see it all looks way too strong so we just reduce the spec to 100 and reduce the strength to maybe like 0 0.4 in my case your case may be different but you already notice you cannot even see the shape of the lamp there so it could basically be just a cube but you also notice the connector that we've modeled is completely useless you don't see it at all so you can delete it now another thing if we now would add a cube you can see everything is very very noisy so we can walk around that by adding a transparent and a mix node now connect that together if we set it to 1 it will be fully transparent if we set it to 0 it will be fully the principal bstf shader if we just play around with that we won't really get a good result so what we will do is we go ahead and add the light path node and a math add node now we will take is shadow ray and is diffuse ray and connect them to the add node so they are added together now we will take that and put that into the factor of the mix node what happens now everything that is not directly shadow or diffuse will be calculated as if it's a principal bsdf everything else as if it will be transparent that way we can basically cheat our lights to not have caustics anyway let's remove the cube and this concludes the tutorial on how to make the shaders the next part i will take a look on how to make the shaders in luxcore and i hope you learned something i hope you liked it until then see ya